Today we'll do a review of this Amazon Isolation Transformer. We'll check out inside, we'll fix it up for a few shortcomings, we'll modify it into a full tech version, and cover a few gotchas along the way. Okay, quick one. I finally got myself an Isolation Transformer. I'll put an overlay up on the screen right now uh, of the unit I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But long story short, uh, this is going to up my safety level a little bit for uh, any device under test. There's, if you're working with an AC, something plugged into AC mains, actually before I even start, I'm gonna caveat this. I'm gonna link a video down below for the, it, it just does an awesome job of explaining the, the tech version of isolation transformers, which this is not. We're gonna fix that. And why you need one and why you should be using one, particularly if you're like me and once in a while you're getting into to like a TV board repair or something and you want to test it, do some work with your oscilloscope or, or your meter and check it out. Well, this we're going to use this to isolate the device under test from ground. That way if I happen to make an oopsie and touch the board that I'm working on, at least uh, I will not be completing the circuit through me to ground because the ground will be isolated. But right now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find that this thing is not. So we can check that really quickly and really easily. We'll just go on, uh, fire up our ohm meter. And so this is our isolated output. This is our direct AC, uh, non-isolated. We'll go from ground to ground on these. Nothing. Zilch ohms. That is a dead short between them. So what we'll do is we're going to go from here. And in theory, it better be grounded. Chassis better be grounded. And it is. So our, our isolated output is indeed not so isolated. Ground is still ground referenced right to mains, right to earth, right to the earth under my feet to the water pipes in my house everything we need to fix that the we're going to turn this into a tech version where we won't be we won't have that ground reference anymore that way we're going to up our safety factor uh, i don't know all the reasons why they do this for the noise canceling and different equipment and stuff um, lots of videos out there but long story short it's not what we want so we're going to isolate this this episode made possible in part by PCB Way. Check them out at the link below for all your custom printed circuit board needs. They offer numerous services, different styles of PCBs, even assembly and parts supply. Should be able to get into this thing pretty easy, I think. And then, all we're gonna do, well, hopefully, I'll be able to leave the primary side referenced to ground in case of this trafo reference to ground that would be nice just, just one more level of safety the chassis should be grounded but we're going to isolate the ground on the output uh, outlets from the mains and from the case that's the plan hopefully we should be able to do that easy enough and in here, this is our transformer. It's just a one-to-one -one transformer. 110 in, 110 volt out. Nothing to it. So our mains comes in back here. This is the primary side of our trafo here. And our mains is isolated, or our ground is grounded there. And it's relatively loose, so I'm going to fix that. Oh, that's nice. So they ground the chassis there and just our two wires in for our primary two wires out for our secondary and then what they do is down here there's our yellow coming from our chassis ground 
that's shared with our input and then they're ground in the outlet this is the non-isolated output and then all they're doing <laughs> is just bussing it across with a piece of conductor so what we're going to do is we're just going to snip that there we're not going to get fancy or anything here we're just going to give that a snippy snip um, there's no need for it we're going to get rid of it right now so we'll go ahead and take that out of here we're going to try and do it it's not going to make a mess there and there's no problem with leaving these bonded to each other i don't foresee any reason why we can't have them well you know what i suppose let me throw a comment down below should we isolate them from each other because we could get into our, a crazy place you'd have to have you'd have to have a series of failures you'd have to make some oopsies to have that go awry where it would become a problem yeah i don't i don't foresee a problem there we'll just leave it like that for now and i'll think on that some more it's hard to think when you're making videos like this <laughs> it's uh, you gotta foresee kind of all the eventualities but anyway we are isolated now we have a chassis grounded let's go ahead double check with our meter our our ground from mains should be hooked to case oh, come on our ground from mains should be hooked to case six four meg that's that that's that poor connection there that's that's that connection on paint. If we go ahead and probe right on it, I bet you we're going to come up with something significantly less. Yeah, 0.4 ohms. So I'm going to pop that out and we'll just uh, clean up the paint underneath and then we'll have a good connection. But now we have, we have a tech version. We're completely isolated from here to here. And this is, this is something I'm, I'm not going to go in depth anymore here, but I am going to cover a gotcha that that could get you into some serious trouble. So let's say I've got my TV set or whatever plugged in to my isolated secondary of my isolation transformer. Happy, happy. I can go ahead and touch that board as long as I don't <laughs> touch two different places, but very carefully only touch one, th one point on the board. The circuit can't be completed through my feet and back through mains. But here's the gotcha. The minute you go ahead and plug your scope in, if you plug in your scope and you hook your ground on to the ground on that chassis, you have now mains connected earth to back to your device under test. You may have broken it here, but now the ground on your scope is going to complete the ground back to earth through the outside of the BNC. That's a gotcha. So you're safe relatively speaking as long as you don't bridge two different potentials with your body from going from one potential to earth until you plug in the ground on your school and then you are back in a position where you're no longer isolated something to think about i'll link a video down below We down in there. I've gone ahead and got that paint all cleared off of there. That should have it. We should be in a little bit different place. Now this actually might still be kind of isolated from case because uh, that paint is wicked good. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'm surprised. But uh, no, there we are. We're down to nothing ohms now. So now we go to our non-isolated ground on the mains. Sure enough, 0.15 ohms. Now we go to our isolated, our secondary side, and we got nothing. So we now have a tech isolation transformer designed to hopefully keep us a little bit safer when we're working with devices under test, such as, well, anything but uh, that's it i'm gonna put this back together
And just like that, we're back together, ready to go. I'll put the links right in the description down below to the other videos, to the, some experts who, uh, who've who done a really good job explaining these. I am no expert. I'm a fly-by-nighter. I am just trying to keep myself a little bit safer when I'm working on things on my bench. I know a little bit about a little bit of things, but uh, I'll leave it to the experts to explain it to you better. Good little unit. I think, uh, I think it's a reasonable price with a small modification. We now, uh, I can put this into service. So there we go. Cheers guys.